Trading Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, comment allez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We uh, appreciate your growling question. problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. I've done the gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it generational thank you you are, seminars, thank so you so much appreciate it yes sir now tom o'brien <laughs> welcome folks this is tom o'brien of tfnn we go five days a week we go seven hours a day we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And, you know, we missed the bullet here. We had a power, we had a surge in water. Those poor people further up the Gulf, though, I'm telling you, these, these hurricanes are dangerous situations. But I Send some white lights and prayers up the Gulf because uh, this was quite a cut of storm, no doubt. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. I love this one. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 46, NASDAQ up 81, S&P's up 19. Gold. Gold contract up six dollars fifty cents, trading at nineteen seventy one an ounce. You get silver down eleven cents, twenty five dollars two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up forty four cents, trading at eighty one sixty. Notes and bonds. A ten year note up one tick, trading one ten twelve. The thirty year up two ticks at one twenty one oh five. And king dollar. King dollar down three hundred and sixty two ticks, trading at one oh three one seventy. The euro at one oh nine. The yen trading out here at 146 and the British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had, a, we had a wide price spread yesterday. You had an expansion of volume. You got a contraction of volume today. But guess what? You've already hit the lows of the high. The lows of the high is 451.55. We're already uh, hit uh, 451.67. This is going to go to the highs. We'll see what's going to spike the highs. We'll see what's going to do up there. We got to take that's in, the, that's in the spy. We go to the NDX 100, the Qs, same type of setup in the Qs, and the Qs were not quite the the my benchmark in the Qs is not the high. Well, it's going to the high, but what I'm talking about here is that the low of the high, well. The day afterwards, okay, is 375.72. Now we, we went into that like nothing, okay, today. The yeah, same type of setup. Yesterday you had expansion of volume, today you get a contraction of volume. That being said, once you're into that bar, guess what? The high is the game once again. So the 377.08 right now, 377.44, you've gone to bottom line, it's gonna go to the highs. You have Labor Day, you have window dressing, bottom line. And you have markets that were almost at the highs, okay? So there's going to be folks that, you know, bottom line said, oh, no, here we go again, okay? And bottom, you know, and this retracement, by the way, folks, okay, when you take a look at this whole retracement, it was a very shallow retracement, actually, you know, of the whole move that started in March. Because when you take a look at this, you're going to see it was about a 0 0.382. It wasn't even a 0 0.382. So the bottom line is that, yeah, this is about the most deviant thing the market can do, but that's what I expect. Now, Why? Okay, so why is it this? We take a look at the note and bond market. You're going to see that the 10-year right now is yielding 4.1. We're at 4.3 last week, okay? So this is heading down. We had a sign of strength yesterday. What we did is that we broke the downtrend yesterday with conviction. So that's saying the 10-year 
wants to go to this 113.06 and we're at 110.12. So if we get up to 113.06, you're going to see that 10 year down at about 3.5. Okay? And we had the high of 4.3. So that's a whole different animal than what we've been dealing with. And then, of course, we got to get, well, here, we'll do gold next because we have gold contract had tested its lows of March, did it with light volume, came off those lows, had two separate signs of strength. One was yesterday and one was last week. Right now, gold straight in 1971. You get 2028. That's the next move up there. And you can see that's also a break with conviction big time. And we, now this is where it's real. Well, you take the note and bonds. The note and bonds are what it's about. That's my, that's, I mean, the note, bonds, and, and the dollar. And you can see the dollar. So what the dollar is done here, it says, this is what I was looking for, yes, today, for today, yesterday. Because yesterday we broke the downtrend, but I wanted to see a break with conviction. And that's what we got. What, it, what conviction means is you have wide price spread on the break. And what you have here is this. The dollar had been trying to take out the swing point from last May. That swing point was 104.699. Well, what we did, we got to 104.447. And when you come that close and can't handle it, it's pretty intense, particularly because we had three days in a row with bearish setups. And each day, it said the heck with being a bear, I'm going to go up and try to hit it again, and hit it again, and hit it again, and it couldn't do it. And then guess what? Then it gives it up in spades in two days, okay? It gave up uh, five, ten, let's get this, one sec. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, in two days it gave up eleven days. That, that's, <laughs> that we know that's what happens in down markets. Bottom line, what that tells me, the good old dollar now is on the way down to the lower end of this consolidation, which is 99.91. Now, if that's where we go, what you're going to see is this. Picture this. Rates were going up. The dollar was going up. And the market really, you know, pulled back, but not pulled back that bad. So you can imagine with the dollar pulling back and rates coming down, what you're going to have. That, that is like taking the bubble. The, it's releasing the bubble. Why? Because the dollar runs the market, folks, okay? Now, you've heard me say this many times. Yes, you'll have higher price, but you always got to remember what can you buy with it. Well, our dollar will be worth less because the dollar wants to go down, but we're going to have higher numbers inside of the marketplace. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go to the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX and see what the strength versus the weakness. You get Sirius Satellite about 5.8%. Pendor Do is up 5%, Dexcom's up 3.5%, and Tool Surgical is up 2.7%. Taken away from it, Charter Communications down 2.3%, Airbnb off 1.6%, JD.com off 1.4%, and inside the Dow Industrials, the strength, the point strength out here today, we have Apple putting 22 positive points, Salesforce 18, Caterpillar 15. Home Depot, 14. Take it away from it. Goldman, minus 26. Amgen, minus 12. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrial is up 50, Nasdaq's up 71, S&P's up 17 and a half. Uh, don't forget, folks, okay, I'm, I'm doing a subscriber workshop for the Gold Report right after the program, 4 to 5 today. If you'd like to be in that and you're not a subscriber right now to the Gold Report, it's very easy to come over to our website, subscribe, comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You're not only going to get a great report for the next 30 days or 60 days or a year, whatever you want, uh, but you'll get a great workshop. And if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you on the 29th day, cancel it, folks. Bottom line is the 30-day money-back guarantee. So check it out. Going to be a fun uh, hour going through gold, GDX, XAU, HUI, notes and bonds as to what moves gold, silver, the whole ball of wax. Now, let's talk pot stocks, okay? So what you had out here today is U.S. health officials urge to recommend easing restrictions on marijuana. The top official of the Department of Health and Human Services wrote the DEA calling for marijuana to be reclassified as a Schedule Three drug under the Controlled Substance Act versus a Schedule One. A Schedule One, which is so weird, folks, is um, heroin, you know, which is just so weird, man. So anyway, um, now, so what is that doing? Okay, well, you know, the bottom line is that, yes, if we look at the ETF for pot, it's getting them off the bottom. MJ is the ETF. That's up 10% today. Inside of the MJ, you know, you have all pot stocks here. Um, yeah, they're all pot stocks, okay? If you go to, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that, you know, you got an expansion, but you got to remember something here, right? Let's put this on a 10-year. This, this equity went from $45 down to $2.91. If we go to, this is what, thank God Constellation Brands has a lot of money because CGC, you know, which is Canopy, right? That went up 50 cents today and it was trading yesterday at 28 cents. Is that right? Let's see. 38 cents. So it's up 5 cents today. Now watch this. We take a look at this, and you're talking about going from 
$59 down to 34 cents. Now, this was probably a blowout bottom. You can see, see the, the amount of volume that's down there. It's probably a blowout bottom. That being said, what you want to wrap your head around is this. I've talked about this many times, you know, the last couple of years. The states that allow you to grow pot, this is totally different than the liquor business because the f reality is, is that, right, it's a weed. You can g grow your own pot. So I just don't see these pot stocks really getting the traction that I suspect most of us thought, including myself, at the beginning, you know. And even at the beginning, I was, you know, I went back on some of the shows and looked at them. I, I was really, you know, thinking and, and saying, at the, at, even at the same time, that, you know, if you can grow it yourself, it's a lot easier growing weed than it is making liquor, right? So I really don't know where these things are actually going to go. You know, if you're trading it, that's a whole different ballgame. You're going to trade it. You know, and in that context, not, no, not in that context. I don't, I don't want to, you know, go from pot, but I, I do want to talk about the Purdue Pharmaceutical for a second. Because if you have Netflix, folks, right, this is a, that, that, those slackers, man, <laughs> they have some evil people, man. On Netflix, they have, it's called Painkiller. And Bridget and I were watching, I watched the first two episodes last night, I fell asleep. This is about the most deviant deal that you've ever seen, that I've ever seen at least, okay, as to how they got rural America, the cities, the doctors, the whole ball of wax hooks on, the, on this uh, oxycodone, oxycodone, okay? And they show, this is what's so crazy, man. They show, they have these, um, you know, when they have sessions and ask people about what things are, and they basically show that the, the name itself, folks, they, they made sure that the name itself was as far away from morphine or heroin as you could get. And that was part of the marketing in order to basically get everyone hooked. And it's, it's about as deviant as you can get. And on top of that, this is what is also deviant. I haven't got to this point yet, but I know from reading in the papers, you know, years ago, uh, you know, that I'm not at the point yet that I saw the McKinsey Associates. M McKinsey and Company, man, they're some of the most deviant people in the freaking world. You know, what they, what they normally do, they, they normally come into a company, you know, drive sales, drive sales, or take over the company. And... I've had um, one dealing with them, and, and it, it's amazing. So they are all about just building, building huge companies or blowing them up. And the dealing I had with them, I didn't personally have with them, and some of you Tigers will probably remember this, right? Um, there was a, uh, this guy had worked his butt off in Sarasota. I forget the name of the company now. Someone will remember it. Um, it was a charting company, and he had a great program. Anyway, to make a long story short, he brought McKinsey in because he was that big in order to uh, sell more product. And we were, so he was an advertiser of ours. I go down and I'm having a meeting with uh, this guy, meeting the guy from McKinsey when he took it over. So. At one point, I believe, yeah, here, here's, here, here's how it shook out. Now, picture this. This is in 98 or something. Yeah, it's in 98. This went on for about four or five years. So I'm explaining to him, you know, what we do. At that point, I was on about maybe 20 radio stations because that was when, you know, we were, we were streaming too because we were one of the first streamers out there, but I was on about 20 radio stations. And I gave him a proposal, and the proposal was um, 15000 a month for advertising, okay? You know what the guy says to me? And I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, <laughs> listen to me, I'm here at 15000 a month. I'm saying, hey, you know, I'm on a lot of radio, 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 radio stations. He says to me, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do this. I says, oh, what a bummer. I'm thinking I'm not going to get that. He says, hey, listen, man, 
we're going to give you 25,000 to 30,000. We're going to start you off with 20,000 and 25,000. You got to go get more radio stations. Well, to make a long story short, that's how the deal will come down, 25,000. And got all these radio stations, you know, bottom line, he's pushing out product, but guess what? He blew up the company. That, and that one, he blew up the company. And the Slackers case, they're going to show how McKinsey and company basically blew up the whole freaking country between the Slackers and McKinsey. And then McKinsey's got to pay for it in that opiate suit. But anyway, check it out. I'm only on the second deal, but you're not going to believe like how they did this and that how a small portion can just wreck families and wreck communities. Dow, Dow Industrials right now is up 39, NASDAQ up 67, S&P's up 60, and we've all been touched with it. I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, that's how bad this was. And I, they show how fast the acceleration was because no one knew what it was. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be ours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries up 41, NASDAQ up 67, S&P's up 16 and a half. GBTC. Now, check this out. This is going to be pretty cool, man. I mean, this is a, this is a risk, but it, it's turned out thus far into a pretty decent trade. So this is grayscale gray Bitcoin trust, folks, okay? You can see, it, even at this point, okay, if, if this comes through, it's trading at a um, minus 21% premium, okay? So now the holdings, okay, this is what ends up happening. The SEC rules are that a trust has different rules 
than an ETF. And what happens with a trust is that you only can have so many shares. So that what ends up happening is that as the equities actually get down, people just want to go out. You can't destroy the shares. So the bottom line is that you can get a negative and a positive. On the way down, you get a negative. On the way up, you get a positive premium, okay? The positive premium, of course, you're paying more. The negative premium, you're paying less. Well, that being said, what has happened is that they have applied for a change into the ETF. And what happened is that they went to the appeals court. They won in the appeals court, okay? So it's going to take more than that because the SEC can still, bottom line, um, you know, appeal this. But what the three, now there's three judges, what they were saying flat out was that, okay, is that it wasn't that the, what had happened is that the SEC didn't have enough, they didn't give GBTC enough information as to why they said no to them because of the fact that, the, that they allow futures on Bitcoin to be traded. So now that the SEC has, you know, so many days to um, appeal the decision. The thing that's going to, and so the SEC's claim, and this is what the SEC claims, the SEC claims that they have no way of really understanding what is the price of Bitcoin. I suspect you know, it looks like they're going to lose the case. You know, what has happened is this, is that um, thus far they, they, lost the, they lost part of a case about a month ago about Ripple Stablecoin, just, just part of it. They lost this case. We'll see where this shakes out. What's so intriguing about this one here is this, is that when you look at the holdings, they actually own all the Bitcoins flat out. You know, if you took the price, that's why, if you took the price of the equity times the number of shares and sold the Bitcoin, you'd make 21.5% right now. That's how that would shake out. So what's also going to happen is this, is that the guy that runs this, okay, he had billions. He got, man, you know, some debt problems. This will probably get them out of it. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. But the bottom line is that there's, there's a lot of moving pieces. That's, that's the bottom line. But um, right now, Gensler is basically zero for two. Well, he's not going to zero for two. Uh, but inside the Bitcoin, uh, he's, he's getting there. And you can see yesterday, uh, it was the day before, I believe, if you want to wonder why Bitcoin went up $2,000, that was yesterday. That's what it was. You know, Bitcoin yesterday, Went from a price point of uh, 25,900, 25,000 that is, to 27,253. Because what will happen is this. If, in fact, GBTC can turn into a ETF, then you will see some monster action inside Bitcoin. Because something you want to remember is this. Something is worth only what we perceive it to be worth. That's the first part. The second part is heavier, though, and it's valid because of the aspect that every time that someone, you know, let's say it gets turned into the ETF, every single time that someone is buying GBTC and this equity goes up, well, what happens? GBTC goes into the market and does what? and buys the Bitcoin. And I remember this so well because I've had the gold report now 22 years, and I remember when, in fact, it started with the GLD. I couldn't wait for it to happen, number one, and I, I, have, I, I have actually every copy of the, of the gold reports. And what had happened is that I remember in the aspect that, oh man, if they allow, okay, you can see, here's the inception date. 
November 18th of 2004. And if they allow the GLD to basically be an ETF, well, that's going to be a much easier way for people to buy gold because buying gold is not easy, okay? You know, there's always a premium on it. There's, you know, you buy it, you sell it. You can always buy it, you know, you got to pay the premium or you go to sell it and you never get the premium. So that made it much easier and that's what, that's what, that's what still drives, you know, the, the metals market. It's, the easier that you can buy and sell something, folks, with a very small spread, well, the more it's going to be worth. So that is going to get really intriguing watching how this shakes out, you know, in the future. You know, we'll see where it, we'll see where it goes because it could get wild because we know that when you let's go let's go back to XBT for a second because we know that <laughs> Bitcoin. I, listen, I'm not a believer of Bitcoin. I'm just kind of going through the mechanics for you of what would happen. If in fact they turn into a ETF, because you take a look at it and you can say that okay, so from the highs, from the from the lows to the very highs, we did a seven eight six retracement. So that says okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna go break those highs. But when you take a look at, let me put it this way now. I'm gonna get closer. When you take a look at the last downdraft. And then we set this up because it came off that low. When we take a look at that last downdraft, it's like, okay, hold it. You did a 50% retracement. That's all you did. So let me clean this up. I'll take those off again. Then I could see, what's that? 31. And that's 15. Yeah, you could have a, you know, 15,000 A to B which would get you into that, you know, 24, 34, 39,000 again, which would, you know, you can see that because when you take a look at this, that's where a breakdown, that's where ice is too. That'd be bizarre, but guess what? That's, that's how markets trade. It, and when you look at markets, this is going to be one of these things. Is it worth money or not worth money? Well, it doesn't matter. It trades, but that's all that matters. We know how this goes. You know, and I think more of us understand this each and every day. That if it trades in the market, it's liquid, it trades. So it's all perception. Can you make money on it or lose money? You know, if you will come down, you go short. Well, you go up, you buy it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow, Dow up 38, Nasdaq up 74, S&P's up 16. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 31, NASDAQ up 71, SP is up 15 and a half. We go take a look at the uh, small cap. So let's go to the IWM, see what we have happening here with the IWM. So the IWM, you know, now this is. The IWM and the Dow folks are the weakest. You can see, you know, the S&Ps and the Qs, they're basically, no, they are touching the lows of the highs. You can see how this is set up, but you're not even close to that. So let me put this back a little bit more. Yeah, it's not even close. So we'll see where that baby shakes out, but that, that's telling you something. That's, that is weak, that's for sure. You know, can of test, uh, you're at 189, you know, 193. It can, it can test 193. But you can see when you're actually looking at this on a longer-term basis, you have the broad market hitting all-time highs, and the all-time high in the IWM was 244. And, in fact, let's take a look at this. Is that the broad market... Yeah, see, this did a 50% retracement versus the broad market did a 0.382. So that's a weaker segment. We go to the Dow Industrials now. We take a look at the Dow. And this is going to get interesting because first, the, the Dow Industrials, you know, bottom line is that they were buying the Dow left and right at the highs. Now, what the Dow has done today is that it's getting into the lows of a high right there. You know, we got to a price point today of 35,025, and you can see the low of that high, well, it's not a high, actually, it's just that it's where, it's where ice is. The low of that high was uh, 35,033. Now, what's intriguing here is this. Uh, there's no way I put this up. Let me put the diamonds up for a second, because... It was showing volume underneath that, but that's not how it works. Meaning, when I just put the Dow Industrials up like that, the volume just doesn't pop up. So I get the diamonds up. Okay, so I get the diamonds up. Yeah, the diamonds look better. Than, <laughs> that's interesting. So here's the number right there. That's 350.195. Well, we hit 350.173. So... Yeah, it looks like the diamonds are going to hit it, too. I mean, that's how this is shaking out. You know, you get window dressing, you get a few more days. It looks like that's also going to happen, too. We'll find out what equities in the Dow, and it's going to be some of the high-priced equities, decide to take off. Because, of course, what ends up happening is that you get a high-priced equity that takes off. It distorts the whole deal, as does the NDX 100. You know, you got Microsoft. Microsoft has a high volume high up here. Microsoft's going to go back to this, you know, 366. Right now, it's trading at 328. You know, you, you came down. Microsoft did just over a 0 0.382 retracement. Hasn't got much juice lately, but you can see that high volume high is laying out there. We go to Apple. So Apple, you know, they start pushing out their news, man. Apple's coming out with another phone. They're pushing out their news. What Apple had done, 
And the news they're pushing out, out here today, Apple did a 50% retracement. So what Apple is pushing out here today, now this is going to get really interesting, is that, you know, of course, they're, they're pushing out, look at this, using 3D printers to make their watches. And you can imagine, you know, we, we've talked about AI, and AI is coming in everywhere. Now this one gets really intriguing, though, because of the fact that the matter is, you know, if you can have 3D printers banging out 24 hours a day, and I suspect they're going to be accurate beyond belief, well, can you imagine how much money you're going to save here? I mean, it's going to be some huge money. You know, one of the guys that I do business with in St. Pete, uh, he has a beautiful granite place. He leased the whole building to a 3D furniture maker. And uh, I've seen how this works. Okay, the guy has uh, five robots. And, you know, the furniture looks kind of weird. It looks like uh, we could be on the moon. But the reality is, is that this... What I see these happening, let's see, there's one, two, this is this about, you know, about seven to ten employees. And when he gets an order, you know, I've been in there when they don't have an order. And, you know, I've said to, you know, Roland, this, he's my friend, I says, yeah, they don't, they don't have any orders, right? And then all of a sudden, I'll go the next day, and all of a sudden, these machines, they're quiet as anything, and they're just big robots. And they're just spitting them out. And I'm talking about a, a piece of furniture, you know, a, a big piece of furniture. And then they just stack them up, man, and then they send them out. So I don't know what the robots cost, but that's where we're going. And they're, they're 3D. They're 3D robots. That's, that's what they are. They, they're all clean rooms. You know, they have all the white on them. They're in the, these glass things. Um, you know, but if you can get, I mean, so picture, because of also the employee situation, you know, it's coming down now because we had those, the, you know, we had numbers this morning that were down. You know, we'll see what the numbers come out the next couple of days. But if you can get a business that machines are doing the work versus people are doing the work, well, you can see how you have a runway going forward because the fact of the matter is that, yeah, machines are expensive, but guess what? When you're going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that's a whole different animal. And these are, these are getting run off normal PCs. I've, I've seen the whole deal. They, you know... You have the machine outside of the little box, the little glass thing. You know, you got a tech guy there, bump, 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 doing like this. They just, someone's keeping an eye on, on them the whole time. But well, they just spit them out, man. You know, it, it ends one, someone removes it, puts it aside, they stack them on top of each other. It's pretty intense. And I suspect those are also going to get much more sophisticated. You know, and depending what they cost, I don't know what they cost, but, you know, he's getting contracts, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, you know, so that, that's where we're going. So to get back to Apple for a second, so Apple right now, so watch this, I, which I didn't know. The watches, folks, are 10% of Apple's revenue. Let me pull this up. That's what this article was about also. Products, uh, they don't break it out here. But anyway, watches right now are 10% of Apple's revenue. So... Can you imagine that you get to the point, they'll start with the watches, then if you get to the point of the phones, imagine that the amount of employees just continue to go down on the manufacturing side, because Apple right now has 164,000 employees. But that's not, it's Foxconn, you know, they're still subbing the, the stuff out. So this is where it's really going to get interesting, and that's where I suspect that what, in this particular case, Apple themselves are not subbing what I'm speaking about out. If they don't have to sub something out and the machines are doing the work, you're talking about a whole different ballgame, man. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 23, Nasdaq's up 65, FSP's up 14. Folks, if you want to be into the uh, gold workshop, it's coming up in 10 minutes. So come over to our website at TFNN. You know, my take is gold's moving, man. And this is going to be the move. And what I mean by the move, the move's up to 2,500. Right now, you know, it's going to be step by step. But right now, we're at 1971. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under feature content. Jump in there. Because at 4 o'clock, it'll be a lot harder to jump in there.
Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Down distance right now up 17. You get the NASDAQ up 62. s and is up 13 and a half. And it's all about right here, folks, okay? As long as that dollar basically stays lower, we're going to see higher markets, higher metals markets, you know, bottom line, because it releases, you know, lets the market breathe. As well as, in fact, if we take a look at the TLT, what you're going to see, I mean, this was a classic. This is the 20-year bond plus. And what you're going to see here is that you went into the lows, you rejected the lows, right here you had light of volume and on the weekly what we did here we did what 135 million versus 128 but you never made it so low either you know so the bottom line is that what you're going to get at least out of this is that you get the top of the consolidation which is 109 you get 109 that's saying that the rates are going the right way and if you put that together with the aspect of, you know, I was talking about yesterday, factually, you know, what the transportation costs are. You know, if you take a look at this B-A-L-T-I-C, watch. If you take a look at this Baltic Dry Index, this is about as dramatic as you get. Take a look at this thing. So I'll bring this back. 
just five years, all right? Look at this thing. Here's your peak. What's that at? 5,400. We're down at 1,100. We're, we're lower than we were even, you know, way before COVID and everything else, okay? So what that means specifically is that you have now that's the spot rate. So the spot rate any of us can get. The Walmarts of the world, the Amazons of the world, they get way below that because they have contract rates. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health app is in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.